Good afternoon. This is Vinny Flores from the U.S. Education Center. Welcome to our presentation to all of our viewers here at the office, online, live, or those of you watching on YouTube later. Um, I'm going to hand it over to our guests today. We have uh, Dr. Daryl Santos and an interpreter, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Uh, welcome, everyone. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Vinny, Ms. Yu, the, the staff here at uh, the U.S. Education Center and Seoul Fulbright for uh, inviting me. And we also have Ms. Kim Ju Wan. You want to say a couple of things? Uh, hello, I'm a December 2013 graduate. Um, studied political science for undergraduate at Binghamton University. I'll be assisting as an interpreter today. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, um, so my presentation is entitled Studying Engineering in the USA. I am a professor of Industrial and Systems Engineering in the System Science and Industrial Engineering Department at uh, the Thomas J. Watson School of Engineering and Applied Science at the State University of New York at Binghamton, also known as Binghamton University. Uh, and I'm also uh, Vice Provost for Diversity and Inclusiveness also at that university. And uh, I just want to let you know that I'm very excited to be here. As you can see also on this slide, I've been a six-time visiting professor at KAIST. So I've been to Korea many, many times. I love your country, and uh, I hope to get to come back soon. Okay, so the topics uh, that I'll be talking about today are, are several. Um, I'm going to be talking about things like support groups, professional clubs, considerations in applying, and all the other things you see here. On the title slide. Uh, 오늘 프레젠테이션에서는 어, 빙햄튼 및 미국 대학에서 공대생들에게 지원되는 어, 각종 지원 및 어, 연구 기회 등 그리고 어, 캠퍼스 환경 등을 이야기해 주시기 이야기해 주실 예정입니다. So my primary presentation will focus on undergraduate education, undergraduate study uh, in engineering um, at universities in the United States. Um, occasionally, because of my personal experience, I may utilize, uh, you know, examples from my university, but most of, all of these topics really do apply to all of the different universities in the United States. Okay, um, so what to consider when you're uh, thinking about uh, studying engineering in, in the United States? Well. Uh, it might be a complicated expression, uh, equation. It's a function of many different things. Uh, and I encourage you to uh, look at all of these different considerations that I'll be talking about before you make your decision. So even though it's kind of complicated in one sense, because there's lots of things to consider, uh, I want you to know that there are mechanisms that can help you make a decision, like the office here, uh, the U.S. Education Office and, and other uh, Seoul Fulbright and, and different campuses that you're considering to apply to in the United States. 네, 미국에서의 이제 공학 공부를 위하여 오늘 어, 다양한 어, 어떤 식의 조사를 해야 되는지 준비를 해야 되는지 어, 프레젠테이션을 통해서 이야기해 주시 해 주실 예정입니다. Okay. And on this particular slide, the, the reason why we have these pictures here is that uh, I think sometimes engineering students uh, get associated with only going into a room or a library and studying all the time, and, and of course, mm -hmm. lab is very important, but uh, it's also important to realize that when you come to America, colleges uh, to study engineering, there's lots of different activities that you can get involved with that will strengthen your education, uh, lots of teamwork activities, and, and so on. Uh, 단순히 어, 연구 및 어, 랩에서의 활동뿐만 아니라 이제 어, 다양한 팀워크 팀 연구 및 어, 학, 교수님과 학생들과의 교류를 통해 어, 대학 생활을 더 이제 다양하게 즐길 수 있, 있습니다. Okay, so obviously if you're listening to this presentation, you're interested in studying in the USA. Maybe that's because many of the top engineering programs are in the United States, uh, and that's true. And I want you to also realize that if you do come to the United States to study, you will not be alone. There's over 100,000 international students uh, that are studying engineering in the United States every year. 현재도 미국에서 매년 어, 10만 명의 유학생이 공학을 전공하고 있으며 어, 다양한 어, 탑 학교에서 어, 
여러분들도 공부를 할수 있습니다. And of course, I'm here to represent studying engineering in the USA, but I do also want to uh, recognize that Korea has many wonderful engineering uh, schools as well. KAIST, Seoul National, Pohang, Post-Tech, and many others. Uh, Okay, so when you're interested in studying uh, engineering in the United States, um, of course there are many traditional uh, engineering disciplines, uh, such as civil, chemical, computer, electrical, industrial and systems engineering, and mechanical engineering. But there are also uh, many newer disciplines, some specialized disciplines, uh, like aeronautical engineering, biomedical, material sciences, uh, environmental and others. 어, 전반 어, 대체적으로 이제 토모 과학, 컴퓨터, 전기, 산업 시스템, 기계 공학 등의 어, 전반적인 공학 프로그램이 있으며 또한 더 세분화된 항공, 의료 공학, 환경, 재료, 해양 및 원자력 공학 등의 프로그램도 어, 미국에서 제공받을 수 있습니다. Okay. One thing that I think it's really important for you to consider when you're coming, particularly as an undergraduate student, to study engineering in the United States, is when you're picking your, the university that you want to study, you might consider picking a university that has many different engineering disciplines. Um, the reasons for that is that with more disciplines, maybe there's more opportunity to conduct undergraduate research. With more disciplines, there are more uh, there's a larger variety of faculty, and um, in case the discipline that you think you want may not be a good fit, you might be able to switch to another discipline uh, if that university has many different programs in engineering. 어, 다양한 학문과 전공을 제공할 수 있는 대학에, 대학을 선택하는 것이 중요한 이유는 어, 공학 프로그램을 진학한 후에도 어, 전공 간의 이동, 학문 간의 이동이 수월하며 어, 고, 정식 공학 교육 인증을 받은 프로그램에 이제 입학하는 것이 유리할 것입니다. And another very important consideration when you're picking the university that you want to study engineering is that I highly recommend, as do many others recommend, that you try and identify programs that are said to be accredited by ABET. ABET is an organization that essentially um, qualifies whether or not the university uh, teaches um, those engineering programs in a, in a very uh, standardized format. But even though they may be standardized, um, it's important to realize that each different program may have different special areas of um, interest that they may focus on. Uh, 고려해야 할 점은 이제 공학 교육 인증을 받은 교육 기관인지에 관한 것입니다. And in the United States there are many many uh, colleges uh, almost 350 that do have this uh, accreditation. 미국 내에서만 어, 350개가 넘는 대학 대학교에서 어, 공, 공학 교육 인증을 받, 받았습니다. Now, I'm going to spend a little bit of time uh, talking about what you may experience as an undergraduate student in your first four years of study. Generally speaking, in most universities uh, that offer engineering programs in the United States, the first two years are pretty similar. Um, the students will be taking you know, the calculus courses, physics courses, maybe some other sciences like chemistry or biology, um, primarily in the first year. A lot of engineering schools also um, have the situation where, as a new student, you do not have to pick your discipline immediately in the first year. So I know that this particular slide may be a little bit difficult to see, but the reason why I'm putting this slide here 
is to show that at one university, and although this is my university, other universities in the United States have a very similar structure. Uh, our first year engineering students have almost identical program to follow. Uh, so this way, after the first year of study, um, you then make the decision on what discipline you want to do. Because by doing this, this will allow you to really uh, experience all the different disciplines at that university. So my, so for example, students at my university, they get to learn about all the different departments at my university in the first year, and then at the end of the first year, they make the decision. 그첫 번째 이제 1년 동안의 과정을 통해서 다양한 학교에서 제공되는 학문과 전공에 대해서 더 알아볼 수 있으며 그 이후 어, 세분화된 전공 선택이 가능합니다. And even if in the second year you pick a discipline and you want to change your mind and switch to a different uh, discipline, uh, sometimes that is also uh, not too difficult to do because of the similarities in the second year as well. 2년째 혹은 그 이후에 이제 세분화된 전공을 바꾸기 위해서 어, 고려를 한다고 해도 이제 1학년 때 이렇게 함께 공통 과정이 있었으므로 이제 어, 전과가 상대적으로 용이한 편입니다. Now in year three, primarily students will be working on their courses, uh, very specific to that particular discipline. So whether it's mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, industrial engineering, aeronautical engineering, whatever, um, the students will primarily be focusing on courses in that discipline. And some universities may also offer uh, what is called a junior year design course. In uh, the typical program will last four years, and in the last year or the fourth year, uh, there will be some few, typically few remaining courses, but also a major part of the fourth year for an engineering student is to participate in what is called the senior design project, sometimes called the capstone project. The goal of this project is uh, it's based in teams almost always. Um, this, the teams will be working on a design. The goal of the uh, design project is to use almost all of the knowledge that you've obtained, acquired at the university, not just in engineering, but also in the other disciplines as well. Uh, you know, the uh, social sciences, humanities, and so on. Now I will briefly talk about some of the pictures on this slide. So some of the pictures on this slide demonstrate uh, in the middle, bottom, um, there are students that are working on a design project, uh, Binghamton University students, but actually applying, um, uh, solving a problem in Honduras, helping a small community uh, install a water system. Many senior design projects at almost all engineering colleges in the United States also have their senior design project in, be entered into a competition. Um, so the figure on the bottom right is, is an example of what is called a Baja car that was developed by a team of mechanical engineers and electrical engineers. So a lot of times senior designs, the disciplines work together. 오른쪽 아래를 사진을 보시면 이제 어, 다른 시니어 프로젝트의 예인데요. 이제 경쟁을 통한 이제 어, 다른 어, 학생들과의 협동 및또 어, 다양한 어, 
서로 이제 배우며 이제 공부를 할수 있습니다. Okay. And in the top right figure, that is a lunch meeting in which we are having Dr. Galbi. And uh, I am there with some professors from Keist University. And uh, this year, in the spring, we will have some students in Keist working with some students at Binghamton University on a senior design project that they will uh, conduct their research together through the internet. And now the duck calvi was much <laughs> Okay. Um, while you are not required as an undergraduate student to participate in undergraduate research, uh, I personally, and as well as many others, uh, would encourage that. Um, so there's a variety of ways in which you can conduct uh, research at the undergrad level. Uh, you can do it uh, by finding a faculty member, which will uh, let you do an independent study research topic. Um, sometimes uh, in the summer, uh, there's opportunities where you can work in a lab, perhaps on your campus. Um, and by uh, conducting or being involved with these undergraduate research experiences, uh, that will help you uh, increase your chances of getting into graduate school if you want to consider a graduate degree after you finish your undergraduate program. 학부생으로서의 연구는 필수 사항은 아니지만 이제 어, 교수님과 타, 다른 어, 타, 이제 캠퍼스에서도 가, 제한이 많이 되고 있습니다. 그 졸업 후에 이제 대학원 및 취직, 취업 등에도 어, 긍정적인 방향으로 볼수 있으며 자신의 이제 어, 교육과 지식을 더 함양할 수 있는 계기가 될 것입니다. Okay. Uh, and there are also some other experiences that you might consider getting involved with. Uh, such as co-op programs or internships. Um, and now some, some of these opportunities, uh, please keep in mind that it might require U.S. citizenship participation, but not all of them. So I think even if you, uh, I, I know some students that come to America from Korea may have dual citizenships, but even if you don't have uh, dual citizenships, there are opportunities in which you can uh, get involved with experiences like co-ops and internships. Um, so, uh, so for example, in these internships, you'll be applying your coursework to real-world problems with, you know, at companies, with companies. Uh, sometimes you can do these with summer experiences. Um, some universities have co-op programs where the student is away from the university for one or two semesters. Um, so uh, if you want to consider those, just realize that something like that may increase the time to complete your degree. On the other hand, it will give uh, very valuable experiences. Uh, 또한 학교 안에서 어를 uh, 어 uh, 학교 밖에서도 이제 다양한 인턴십 및어 uh, 필드에서 경험을 통해서 어 uh, 1년 혹은 한 학기 동안 어 uh, 다양한 현실적인 어 uh, 직접 배운 기, 기술들을 어플라이 uh, 해볼수 있는 응용해 볼수 있는 기회를 받을, 얻을 수 있습니다. Another thing that's um, to be considered, not all universities uh, offer this, but some universities offer uh, what are referred to by different names, four plus one program, sometimes fast track program. Um, what this is, is uh, a type of accelerated program in which uh, a student can earn the bachelor's degree and master's degree in five years. Um, sometimes it can be bachelor's degree engineering, master's degree engineering, or it could be bachelor's degree engineering and master's of business administration. So typically, the typical structure for something like this is that in the fourth year, same as before, some courses in your, uh, in your discipline, senior design project, but also uh, you will take a few courses in graduate school and then in the fifth year, it's all graduate uh, courses plus some type of project. Uh,
Okay. Um, when you come to America, as I've already mentioned, there's a lot of opportunities for support uh, structures. Um, one thing to consider is that there are many different professional societies or clubs in which I would encourage you to be involved with. Uh, by doing so, they, these clubs can act as a support group. Um, they also typically have uh, local meetings at the university, sometimes a regional conference where you might be able to go and present uh, you know, your senior design project or similar, uh, and sometimes attend national or international conferences. And uh, these professional societies uh, exist for just about every engineering discipline, and also there may be some special ones geared towards uh, Asian students. 세부적인 전공 선택에 따라서 어, 학교 안에서 혹은 학교 밖에서 다양한 어, 서포트 그룹을 어, 활동, 그룹에서 활동을 할 수가 있습니다. 어, 이 안에서는 이제 학교 내및 혹은 국내 국제적인 다양한 컨퍼런스 및 활동을 할수 있으며 이제 다, 어, 네트워크를 통한 어, 인맥을 쌓을 수 있기도 합니다. And there are also typically many social sciences and clubs. Um, and so what these social, uh, I think I said sciences, I meant societies, uh, social societies and clubs, um, these can act as a home away from home. Um, so here's a, just an example from one university, happens to be my university, but other universities have lots of uh, support programs just like these or, or groups. So there's, for example, a society for uh, Pan-Asian leaders, Asian student union, Asian movie club, uh, there, there's religious organizations, if you're interested in that, um, a society of American, uh, excuse me, Asian, not American, Asian scientists and engineers, many, many others. Um, and, and, and don't you know, restrict your attention just to you know, Asian societies, there are all other societies as well that you can get involved with. Uh, 어, 동아리 및 한인 학생회 등 어, 학문적으로 혹은 취미 활동 등을 할수 있으며 또한 어, 동양인 혹은 한인뿐만이 아니라 다양한 다른 어, 문화에서 온 학생들과 교류할 수 있습니다. Okay, and almost always the university will also have an administrative type level uh, with offering support, uh, anywhere from providing assistance in the form of tutoring. Um, to assistance related to personal help, um, you know, helplines, things of that nature. And of course, uh, most universities have very strong international students office uh, that can help you uh, while you're uh, at that foreign uh, location. Uh, 또한 심리적인 위안 및 어, 국제 학생을 위한 다양한 자원 어, 지원 및 어, 자료가 준비되어 있습니다. Okay. Um, I, I didn't mention the second bullet, uh, second sub bullet. So, um, also I, I mentioned earlier about professional societies and clubs. In these professional societies, a lot of times you can get help within these clubs as well, but don't get too much help because in the United States as well as here and other places uh, academic honesty is very important, so uh, it is encouraged to get assistance from others, but uh, please, no cheating. Uh, <laughs> keep on going, okay. Um, now, when you're considering uh, applying to university uh, in the United States, there are many uh, cost considerations. Um, I'm not here to present the data on the average cost or this or that. That, that information can be obtained. But what you should consider are things like tuition, you know, for international student tuition, uh, the fees that you will have to pay, um, books, um, how much money you need to budget for uh, the dormitory and for, for eating. Um, and of course, if you want to uh, go back to South Korea, back to the United States and back, you have to consider travel costs as well. So please consider all of these considerations when you're thinking about the cost uh, of going to at the university. 어 미국으로 진학을 위해 고려해야 할 어, 부분들 중 어, 주립 및 사, 주립 공립 사립 대학 
마다 차이가 나는데 학비 및 어, 기숙사 혹은 어, 자치 비용 등과 그 다음에 각종 교과서 및 어, 항공료 등도 고려를 해야 합니다. And of course, another thing this is to consider is where will the university be? Um, sometimes uh, students or applicants don't really put a lot of thought into this uh, because the United States is, is very different geographically speaking. Um, some areas are cold, some areas are hot, some areas are not near the ocean, uh, and, and so many other you know, uh, geograph geographical considerations. Also, whether or not the university is in an urban city area or small town area. Um, so all of these things you need to uh, consider. So this is just a picture showing different you know, universities uh, in the United States. Uh, the one that's not labeled is uh, MIT, but there's a community college there and some other universities. So consider uh, what it's going to be like to be living in that area uh, as well. Campus uh, 환경을 고려한지 선택하는 것도 굉장히 중요합니다. 날씨와 기후 및 Okay, so I did mention that uh, costs, you know, a lot of things you need to consider and do the research, um, but also it may be possible uh, to obtain scholarships. So here are some, a, a few links that you might be able to try uh, to find if there's possibility for you to obtain a scholarship. And uh, um, most of the scholarship, oh, I should, let me restart. Some scholarships are for undergraduate study, some scholarships are for graduate study. Uh, okay, and, and this is not a complete list, but uh, there may be other sites. 어, 이 화면에 보이는 링크뿐만이 아니라 이제 더 다양한 어, 지원들이 들을 더 검색해 볼수 있습니다. Okay, another consideration uh, for the undergraduate student, if a uh, cost may be too expensive for four years, is to consider a transfer program. Um, so you can transfer from two-year program uh, after you complete two years. Then go into uh, uh, complete the other two years uh, at a four-year institution and get your bachelor's degree. It's a method in which you may be able to reduce some of the college uh, expenses because the two-year program is typically a lot cheaper at the community college than the first two years at the four-year school. Um, you actually will get an additional uh, degree uh, because you will get an associate's type of engineering uh, or applied science degree. And many, many universities do have an easy system of transfer in place that can take you from the two-year to the four-year. And as I understand it, I hope my understanding is correct, I believe that's even true if you're uh, at two-year program in Korea and then can go to two-year program, uh, finish the other two years of the four-year in the United States. Uh, 대학 및 어, 단과 대학에서의 어, 과정을 통해서 어, 학비를 조금 저축한 뒤 그다음에 4년제 종합 대학으로의 어, 편입도 가능합니다. And if you are interested in two-year schools in the United States or community college, uh, you can go to this website for more information. 만약 2년제 대학에 더 이제 관심이 있으시다면 편입을 위한 어, 아, 제일 아래에 있는 이제 링크를 참고해 주시면 됩니다. Okay. Um, I will talk a little bit about the application process. Obviously, uh, you're going to want to have good grades. Um, you want to have good uh, test scores. But other considerations that universities look into is to see if the candidate who is applying uh, is said to be well-rounded, meaning they do hobbies uh, or uh, play a musical instrument uh, maybe you know, participate in sporting activities, uh, etc. And also, uh, because instruction in the United States will be in English uh, almost 100% of the time, uh, the universities may require a certain uh, TOEFL score. Uh, 
고려해야 할 것은 단순히 좋은 성적뿐만이 아니라 이제 얼, 얼마나 어, 자신이 관심 있는 교회 활동을 했는지 취미 활동, 음악 활동, 그다음에 체육 활동 등을 또 고려하게 되고요. 그리고 이제 미국으로 진학을 위해서 어, 토플 혹은 SAT 등의 어, 어떤 시, 어, 공인 시험을 통해서 어, 자신의 실력을 검증할 수 있어야 합니다. Um, also, uh, for those of you who, whether you're going to be an undergraduate uh, and then consider graduate school, or some of you right now may be considering graduate school, um, it's good uh, to have prior undergraduate research experience or some other kind of industry experience in your discipline, um, because oftentimes uh, the personal statement that is written on the application, and that's true for the undergrads as well, is very important. 어, 대학원 진학을 위해서는 특히 어, 자신의 세부 전공 분야에서의 어, 리서치 연구 및 어, 실질적인 경험을 또 어, 크게 보고 있습니다. 그리고 이제 자기 소개서 등도 어, 어떤 지원 시에 이제 기관에 혼동하지 않도록 조심을 하고 이제 자신이 왜이 프로그램에 지원하고 싶은지 어, 구체적으로 어, 지원서를 작성하는 것이 이제 도움이 될 것입니다. I want to say some more too. <laughs> I was waiting to say some of that, but that's okay. Um, that what she said, uh, the last part, I I think is extremely important. I have looked at many many graduate applications uh, throughout my 20 years of being in uh, a professor uh, Gyosu in the United States, and whenever I see an, uh, a personal statement where the uh, person writing the statement doesn't know anything about my program, or maybe uses the wrong name. Oh, I want to come to Harvard University. I'm not Harvard University. I throw it in the trash can. So it's very, very important, the personal statement. Try to tie in your experiences to the strengths of that program. That will help a lot. And I will repeat it again. Do not confuse the program you are applying to at the graduate level. It's true for undergraduate also, but particularly at the graduate. 어, 교수님께서 한번더 강조하고 싶으신 점은 이제 어, 대학원 지원서를 작성할 시에 어, 반드시 유의할 점은 자신의 경력 및 경험과 자신이 어, 지원하는 프로그램에 대해서 이제 정확히 이해를 하고 지원, 어, 작성을 해야 한다는 것입니다. Okay, so before you decide which university you're going to be applying to, there are lots of different sources of information where you can learn about the different institutions in the United States. Here are probably the most commonly used sources. Princeton Review, uh, Peterson's Guide, um, and U.S. News and World Report. Uh, oftentimes these uh, publications uh, provide not only a, a detailed, particularly Peterson's provides a detailed list of all programs, but uh, uh, Princeton Review U.S. News typically uh, lets you know uh, the better universities, for example, by uh, discipline or by cost per international student, all different factors. Uh, 어, 좀더 세분화된 정보를 한 눈에 얻을 수 있는 방, 어, 자료가 준비되어 있습니다. Okay. And so while I do encourage you to use these sources to and, and again consider the geographic considerations and look at all the different institutions in the United States, I do have a couple of slides to talk about my university. So uh, my university is considered to be um, you know, small to medium sized. Um, about 12,000 undergraduate students. Um, uh, the SAT range, uh, math 600 to 700, verbal 600 to uh, 680, uh, writing 580 to 670. Um, TOEFL uh, scores, um, you know, again, under, you know, need to be considered. For Watson School, I showed that score on the earlier slide. Um, our four-year graduation rate is good, could be better, but it's good, 67%. And uh, we have very low attrition, meaning lot, lots of students do return from first year to second year. 어, 자, 간단히 빙인튼 대학에 대해서 이제 소개를 드리자면 어, 현재 12,300명 가량의 어, 학부생이 있고 그리고 이제 어, 국제학생, 유학생만 이제 유, 
각국 안에서 11%나 차지하고 있습니다. 그리고 어, 평균 토플 점수는 90점이며 어, SAT 점수 또한 어, 상위 점수를 어, 기록하고 있습니다. 그리고 어, 4년 졸업률이 67%이며 90.5%의 어, 1학년들이 이제 다시 2학년으로 어, 학교로 다시 들어갑니다. Okay, and uh, at New York State, there are four university centers. There's actually many SUNY uh, State University New York campuses, over 60, but four of them are research centers. Binghamton is one of them. Binghamton is ranked uh, top 50 USA public university by US News and World Report, uh, 37th public uh, national university, and we have many, many public national universities. Um, and uh, for international students, it's uh, very competitively uh, priced. Binghamton뿐만 아니라 뉴욕 주립대 시스템 안에 알바니, 버팔로, 스토니브룩 등의 이제 캠퍼스 등의 이제 어, 유명한 연구 대학 캠퍼스로 있고요. 그리고 어, US 뉴스 리포트에서 볼수 있듯이 어, 30, 37번째 어, 공립 대학교 순위를 어, 인정받았습니다. Okay, and that's pretty much it for my presentation. I'd like to thank everyone here, Miss Yu, uh, Mr. Flores, and others at the Seoul Fulbright and uh, Education USA. Um, and then here, here are the sources that I obtained my information from. Uh, and you feel free to go to those sites, uh, those websites, and the others I talked about earlier mentioned in the slides. Uh, I'm now happy to answer any other questions. Any questions that you may have, and thank you for listening, and thank you, Juan. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I will find out that answer and I, I, I'll, I'll have to touch base with uh, my contacts uh, to, to know the right answer. Usually, like, generally speaking? Um, is there has, has he been accepted? No. I, think, I think the decisions for the fall are, are going to be made fairly soon. But I can I can help find out uh, if I can contact my admissions office. 지금 질문하신 게 입학 후에 언제 전공을 정하게 되는지. 아, 그래서 so like once he's admitted and enrolled, like when would he choose or when does he? Did, did he apply? Uh, or just did, in general? Like, yeah, he didn't apply to any college at all, like Harper or School of Management. Did Did he? If you if you can find out that information and send me email, I, I will I will find out. Yeah, I will I will ask my contacts. Yes, Mr. So once students enter as um, Watson freshmen, mm -hmm. um, they don't need to declare specify specific. Major. Exactly, and that's similar at other universities as well. So at the Watson School, uh, the students come in as Watson students, not industrial engineering, electrical, mechanical. They come in as Watson students. So the first year, they're actually in what is at my university called the EDD, Engineering Design Division. Um, so in addition to taking the courses in humanities, uh, physics, you know, calculus, some sciences, physical education, then uh, we also have introductory engineering courses, but it's not specific to one discipline. It's, it's for all engineering. So after the first year, then they declare, I want to be this type of engineer or that type of engineer. And that's similar at other universities as well. And that was actually true for my experience. So I can, so let me give you another experience for another university and not talk about Binghamton. So I did my undergraduate uh, education at Cornell University. So when I went to Cornell University, same kind of thing. 
even though I, I, I really knew I was going to be an electrical engineer. That's what I thought. But actually, by the end of the first year, I decided industrial engineering was the better fit for me. And that's why our program at Binghamton and other universities do the same thing. They try to show the students that uh, here's what the different disciplines do. Because some students may think, oh, I want to be an electrical engineer, but have no idea what an electrical engineer does. Um, but then after understanding uh, that first year what the engineers do, it helps them make a better decision for themselves. I'm going to try to yeah, capture sure. that. Yeah. <laughs> 아, 이제 앞서 프레젠테이션에서 말씀드린 것처럼 이제 어, 공대생으로서 입학을 하게 된다고 했는데 세분화된 전공을 정한 바로 1학년 때 정하는 것이 아니라 어, 이제 다양한 학문 어, 개론을 이제 수강하면서 이제 2학년, 3학년이 되면서 좀더 어, 자신이 원하는 필드를 정하고 어, 혹은 정과할 수 있습니다. 아, uh, that's a good question. Um, I think it, it depends on the university, but she's a she, she'll give you her experience because she's not an engineer. So, so okay. I wasn't with the engineering department, but I was with um, arts and science. Um, I majored in political science. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> 저 이제 사회과학 이제 전공을 했거든요. 그래서 이제 그 빙엠튼 같은 경우에는 이제 하퍼 사회과학 인문 대학에 들어가면은 1학년, 2학년까지도 이제 어떤 특정 전공을 정해서 공부하는 게 아니라 이제 교양 과목 필 수가 있어요. 그러면은 그 안에서 어 전공에 관계없이 수학, 뭐 과학 이런 음악, 예술, 뭐 사회과학 그런 거를 다 이제 총체적으로 들으면서 이제 학생들이 신입생들이 자기가 원하는 전공 및 이제 학문을 찾아가는 그래서 이제 2, 3학년 때 보통 많이들 전공을 정하고요. 그리고 이제 어 그렇게 막 처음부터 1학년 때부터 어떤 전공을 해야 될지 막 조급해 하거나 뭐 알아야 된다. University, we don't have co-op program, but we do encourage our students to participate in internship programs. And, and it, it's, it's different from department to department. So for example, in my department, uh, Industrial Systems Engineering program, we have some relationships with some local companies. Some of our students do internships with IBM. Uh, IBM was founded actually in my region, uh, in uh, the small town adjacent to Binghamton is the home of IBM. Not their current headquarters, of course, but where they were founded. So we have some programs where some of our students work at local companies, uh, and that's same for other other uh, departments as well. So it changes; it's different from department to department, and I think you'll find that uh, similar with other college, other universities as well. Um, on the other, like Rochester Institute of Technology (RIT), they have a co-op program where I think, I, and I don't know their program, you know exactly 100%, but I think almost all of their students do co-op programs, or, or most of them do. Whereas our, our programs in the Watson, it's not a requirement, it's encouraged, and we try to help students find internships, but not requirement. Right. Um, there, there are employment opportunities for international students, um, and I think, uh, like many economies, the U.S. economy was recently kind of depressed, but it's now there are good signs. Um, be, my department doesn't have a lot of international students uh, currently, so I I don't know what the, the percentages of them uh, getting a job soon after graduation at the undergraduate level. 
we do have many international students at the graduate level and almost all of our uh, graduate students after they complete they usually have multiple job offers so i don't know the undergraduate numbers right now uh, but i think it's 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 improving because the economy is improving Um, not necessarily. Um, so do you want to repeat his question before I uh, answer it? He, he, sa he says he doesn't know if there's intern opportunities at the graduate level. Yes. So ask, uh, repeat uh, that, then I will answer. Yes, the question is, is there an opportunity for an internship in the graduate level? Actually, there are many opportunities at the graduate level, primarily uh, they appear as research assistantships. So this is what this is kind of relates to what I was saying about the application process for graduate school and doing your research, do your homework about the program, because you should, uh, when you're looking at graduate schools, try to find a, a program at a university that does a lot of research in that area. So for example, you told me before the presentation that you're civil engineering. We don't have civil engineering at my university, so I, I don't have a lot of knowledge in that. But what I would recommend is uh, for you to go and find universities that you want to consider that have a strong amounts of research funding at the graduate level in your discipline. And that will help increase your chances of joining a research team of a professor and that he or she might be able to fund you on a research grant. And in that way, you can a lot of times get your tuition uh, covered and some living expenses covered. And uh, it also gives you a project that you can do your master's degree or in your case, PhD dissertation. Uh, 혹은 어, 재정적 지원에 대해서 이제 질문을 하셨는데요. 이제 교수님께서 답변하시기를 어, 학부생보다 오히려 대학원생에게 어, 다양한 지원 기회가 더 많으며 그리고 어, 본인이 공부하고자 하는 어, 세분화된 전공을 이제 제대로 어, 조금 더 깊이 있게 어, 각 학교마다 캠퍼스마다 조사를 한뒤그각 학교마다 제공하는 어, 연구 보조 및 어, 조교 자리 등을 이제 더 알아보면 이제 더 많은 자리가 제공이 될 것입니다. So as, as one example, in my department. Um, we provide funding to um, well over half of the international students in my department. And again, I think you may, if you do research, find other universities in civil engineering that may do the same thing. And that's true for other disciplines. For those of you uh, at YouTube listening later, uh, or those of you who are uh, in real time but not in this room right now thinking of another discipline for graduate school, do your research and find uh, those programs that have a strong history of research funding, and that could be an avenue to help you with your graduate school costs tremendously. 어, 미국 대학 및 대학원 진학에 있어서 가장 중요한 점은 자신이 가려는 분야와 어, 연구 전공을 이제 정확히 인지하고 그 다음에 그 프로그램 혹은 자신의 어, 관심 분야에 맞는 학과와 학교를 찾는 것입니다. 그그 부분을 통해서 이제 더 다양한 지원 및 어, 어, 미래의 기회가 이제 제공될 것입니다. Okay. Yeah, I think that's true of, of some scholarships where they do have certain criteria that the students have to maintain um, to, in order to receive that scholarship. I mean, that was even true in my case as an American student uh, mm -hmm. going to school in America. I had certain scholarships where I was required to maintain uh, good performance. Yeah. So that, yes, I would say, uh, and when, and when uh, a, a particular scholarship is being applied for, I'm sure that all of that information will be listed with that particular scholarship.
어, 다양한 이제 학교와 저, 학과 전공이 있는 만큼 이제 장학금 지원 제도도 이제 굉장히 다양한데요. 이제 그 부분에 있어서 어, 들어온 질문이 어, 본인이 대학원생으로서 장학금을 받다가 어, 어떤 뭐 성적 제한이라든가 그런 부분에서 미달이 된다면 장학금을 박탈이 당한 박탈이 되는지. 에 대해서 이제 대부분의 경우 국제학생, 유학생뿐만 아니라 이제 미국 국내 학생들도 마찬가지로 어 이제 제, 그런 어떤 장학 각 장학금마다 조금 더 세분화된 이제 분야 지원 분야를 맞춰줘야 한다고 말씀하셨습니다. Um, well, I, I, I don't know about the percentages of this discipline or that discipline, but uh, uh, some, some scholarships are geared to directly towards a specific you know, uh, discipline, not, not even just the field of engineering, but maybe a specific one. So I would say, generally speaking, if, uh, if the person, the candidate is applying to a scholarship that meets their credentials, and then they're kind of Uh, equal to another candidate as far as you know grades and other things and I would say something similar to what I was mentioning about applying to school in general that maybe tie-breaking procedures would be that they may look for the more well-rounded uh, candidate uh, that, that's my opinion uh, <laughs> 어떤 비슷한 학문적으로 비슷한 어, 레벨에 있는 두 학생이 있다면 어떤 학생에게 이제 더 장학금 수여 기회가 오는지에 대해서 어, 학교 학과 선택 및 어, 장학금에서도 마찬가지로 만약에 어, 학문적으로 성적 면에서 비슷한 부분이 있다면 이제 자신의 어, 가능성과 어, 어떤 경력 경험을 어, 얼만큼 잘 어, 서술하였는지 그리고 그 부분이 얼마나 소통이 되어 있는지 어에 따라서 이제 선택이 아마 될 것입니다. 이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이
학문적 배경을 가진 유학생들이 어, 미국 대학 대학원 진학 전에 준비하면 좋은 점들을 알려주세요. Okay. So uh, in my department, so I will speak in my department's case. I can't speak for all, all departments. So my experience, um, what we do is we also just like I'm encouraging student applicants to do homework about our university and other universities. We actually try to do the same. So, so we have a, a, a good idea of the best universities uh, in the different countries, right? Uh, and if we get an applicant from uh, a university that we don't recognize, we will try our best to learn more about that program too before we accept that. Because uh, for two reasons, if we accept a student who's not strong, it's bad for both of us. It's, it will not be good for the student because the student will have a bad time, will struggle very hard. And then if we accept this student instead of another student, it, it hurts us. So it, it helps no one uh, to pick a student who is not the good fit. Um, uh, I know that, for example, some colleges in India are only for try to make money and, and their education level is not strong. So we know some of these schools and we will uh, we may avoid applicants from that. So, um, so I guess to summarize, uh, what I would say is the departments also try to do research on the candidate to make sure that the best fit, because we want, we really do want the, the best situation to, to have the student, uh, the, the person learning to, to have the good foundation to come. And then that way, uh, it, it will help both of us be successful. 이제 미국으로 공부를 하, 미국에서 공부를 하려는 유학생, 국제 학생이 늘어나는 만큼 어, 미국 교육 기관 학과 내에서도 어, 이제 다양한 해외의 어, 대학 및 교육 기관에 대한 이제 조사와 이해를 높이려고 하고 있습니다. 그를 통해서 어, 어떤 특정 국가의 이제 어, 뛰어난 기관들의 학생들을 이제 받아들이고 이제 학생들이 맞는 프로그램을 찾아야 하는 만큼 학교에서도 어, 자신들이 어, 가장 잘 가, 교육, so, um, so I think that's similar to it's Mr. To. Yes. So what I was saying to, to Mr. To earlier is that you know if if uh, the student who's applying maybe thinks that we don't know their university, their background, maybe write a little bit about the, their education, uh, you know, undergraduate uh, and masters if they have masters before applying. To I think that would help. Uh, so I think that would help. Okay, um, is it undergrad level or grad level? I'm assuming grad level. Yeah, okay. Do you want to try to capture the question? The question to Hungary's room was then, uh, Chiwon, John Hogan Chiwon, who a or Tashini Kwanshim in Yongo Punya, so in the Kachu Kishin Kusun in the K email or Ponen and Goshi, uh, Kusun in the K Pulpananzi, Hogan Kentananzi. Okay, okay, um, it certainly cannot hurt. Uh, so I don't think generally it's a bad thing. I think uh, I think it can be a positive or neutral thing, but more more positive than neutral. I'll, I'll say more of it. Go ahead. 어 이제 전반적인 부분에서는 당연히 이제 긍정적이라고 말씀드리고 싶습니다. 어 자신의 어떤 흥미 관심을 표현하는 것이기 때문에. Right, but I I do want to urge caution because uh, I've been a professor that has received these types of emails. And then I can tell whether, just like what I was talking about, the personal statement, I can tell whether or not the student is doing like a mass mailing, right? And then just swaps out this name, this name. Uh, it really needs to be directed to that, specifically to a professor, if you're going to email a, an individual professor. 다만 한 가지 이제 주의할 점은 어, 이런 식의 어떤 개인적인 연락을 취할 경우 어, 앞서 말씀드린 것과 같이 어떤 
전반적인 어, 일반적인 그런 어, 복사 붙여넣기와 같은 이메일이 아니라 이제 그 교수님께 혹은 그 학과의 그 프로그램에 어, 정확히 어, 탈게되어 있는 그런 어, 이메일과 그런 연락을 취할 것입니다. 어 이제 대학원 진학을 위해서 이제 가족 및어 미래 배우자가 어, 어떻게 함께 생활을 할수 있는지 학교에서 제공되는 것이 있는지에 대해서. Yeah. Um, I think many, certainly the top tier universities, many of them do provide on campus uh, spaces where families can rent. You know, maybe it's not a large number of opportunities, but there are some universities that uh, have that. Um, other universities. Um, Most universities in the United States, really adjacent to the university, uh, a lot of times there's apartments that are relatively, relatively low cost. And, and uh, there are many instances of uh, married uh, people studying in the United States. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 어, 유학을 오는 경우도 당연히 있고요. 그다음에 캠퍼스 안에 혹은 캠퍼스 근처에 어, 이런 어떤 대학에서 공식적으로 혹은 어, 다른 사설 기관에서 제공하는 어, 아파트 및 어, 그런 자치 공간이 다, 제, 어, 학교마다 당연히 제공이 됩니다. Miss you, were you about to ask another question? Yes, uh, there are some requirements for I think that does uh, another situation where may, it may depend department to department. So in this case, I would just give you my opinion, and it may be different for another university. So um, I know that we place uh, uh, G, GRE, oh, for undergrad, undergrad, right? Oh, it is for grad. Okay, for grad, so GRE. So we look at good GRE scores. I would say, because most of the people that are applying, uh, their GPA, not statistically very different from each other. So so the other things we look at, I would say the two most important things, uh, when I was graduate director and reviewing applications, I would say GRE and personal statement. But again, that's, that's for my point of view, and it may differ at another university. But I think that's probably, those two are weighted very highly, I think, probably at most different departments. When you say personal statement, does that include self-check? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in the personal statement for the graduate application, you, you will be saying what, ty- what type of uh, focus you will want to do your research. Yes, so yes. Oh, sorry, I'm saying a lot. Okay, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, 그 이제 대학원 진학 시에 이제 다, 어, 국제학생 같은 경우는 토플을 포함하여 이제 GRE 그다음에 지원서 어, 혹은 이제 학 수학 계획서 등 어, 다양한 지원서를 작성해야 하는데 그 중에 이제 가장 어, 중요한 부분이 무엇인지에 대해서 질문해 주셨는데 이제 교수님께서 답하시기를 이 부분 또한 프로그램 및 이제 입학처 혹은 교수님들마다 조금 차이가 있지만 개인적인 경험을 비추어 봤을 때 어, GRE 어, 대학 대학원 입학 시험 점수와 그리고 이제 지원서 어, 지원 동기 그다음에 자신의 미래 계획에 대해서 어, 정확히 서술한 경우에 어, 더 높은 점수를 주신다고 하셨습니다. Any other questions? Okay. Yeah, 
아, 이제 대학원 지원에 있어서 지원서가 중요하다고 여러, 여러 번 강조를 하셨는데 어, 어떤 조금 더 현시, 구체적인 조언이 있으시다면 공유해 주세요. I think mostly I will repeat some of the things that I've already said because I think that they are so important. So I think um, uh, at least when I was reviewing graduate applications, I was really looking to see if the candidate, uh, the background, you know, what you studied in uh, you know, maybe master's degree, sometimes undergraduate research, um, uh, and, and then as Ms. Yu said, the study plan, what area of focus you want to do your master's or PhD, include that in the personal statement. Uh, the more that your focus area uh, uh, aligns with the research interests of faculty members um, in the department that you're applying to, um, that I think that is probably the strongest thing you could do. That and also to avoid the mistakes as I've already said, you know, do not you know, make any mistakes in the personal statement uh, about you know, a professor's name or you know, using the wrong university. Those are very, very bad mistakes. So focus more on um, you know, your background, uh, convince uh, the department that your background is a good fit for the department and that, uh, that you're familiar with what that department focuses on with research. Because graduate school is almost always about research. Of course, you will take courses, but uh, graduate school, the focus is on research. Uh, and, and, you, and you don't want to make a mistake about confusing um, the focus of the, the research at a department with what you want to do. 전반적으로 지원 어떤 지원 서류가 됐든 그것은 이제 어, 입학 처 혹은 이제 교수님 등 어, 그 독자를 이제 설득시키는 일이기 때문에 이제 얼마나 어, 자신의 어, 경력과 경험 장점 그리고 이제 어, 그 프로그램에 대한 관심도 등을 적절히 표현했는지가 아무래도 굉장히 중요한 것 같습니다. 그리고 어, 어떤 지원서 안에서 실수를 하지 않도록 어, 반드시 이제 재차 확인을 하고 어, 각 대학마다 각 프로그램마다 어, 더 세분화된 높은 이해를 가지고 지원서를 작성하시면 좋을 것 같습니다. Did some come in? Okay, I, I of course can't speak for, for all you know people that review applications at in the United States. But I would say that uh, if this student uh, applied to, to my uh, university, uh, my program, um, and did all of the things that I was talking to Mr. Toe about as far as understanding what we did and if their background, I don't mm -hmm. care if it was Seoul National, Christ, you know, post tech, whatever. I mean, it could be from a smaller, it could be from Chungnam, you know, National University, right? Which is a good school, but maybe a lot of people in the United States may not know of Chungnam or other, you know, Gwangju National or, or whatever, right? Am I saying those right? Okay, so uh, it may be the case that you know somebody uh, may not recognize the school, but like I said, that one of the key things uh, in the application process, from my perspective, is that personal statement. And if this candidate, even if they don't come from one of the top schools in Korea, I, I think that they can have a good chance of getting into a, a good graduate program in the United States. <laughs> 이제 외국에서 알아주는 어떤 한국의 명문대가 아니더라도 어, 자신의 어, 적성과 자신의 어, 흥미를 정확히 이해하고 있고 그 지원하는 지원하려는 프로그램과 어, 학교에 대한 구체적인 이해가 있다면은 어, 그 부분에 대해서 이제 큰 걱정은 안 하셔도 될것 같습니다. 
Yeah, I think, uh, again, just, again, focusing more on how, how they're a good fit for the program. I think if you capture that, you know, it's really key. Um, it, it may be the case that some really tier one universities in the United States may say that if you're not from Seoul National Kaiser Post, that we're not taking from Korea. I, I, you know, that may or may not be true. I don't know. But if this person has heard that, maybe that's true. But uh, I know, you know, speaking from my university and other universities, not all universities are like that. You know, if we see that the candidate is a really good fit, and, and you know, I, I think there's a very good chance of, of getting accepted into graduate study. 제차 강조하지만 어떤 어, 단순히 학교의 명성뿐만이 아니라 이제 자신의 어, 분야, 연구 분야에 대한 이해도와 그리고 이제 지원서의 어, 강점 등을 통해서 어, 더 좋은 지원자로서 거듭날 것입니다. <웃음> Tell me a type that he has a good questions. You had good questions, J2. <웃음> <웃음> 감사합니다. Is there racial discrimination in campus life? You mean towards uh, uh, Wei Yes. Uh, uh, there's some. I'm not going to lie and say there is none. Um, and there's, I mean, there's discrimination all over the world, unfortunately. Um, you know, so I think um, again, one thing that you could do in looking at different universities, looking at different regions, is maybe making also contact. With a student group, you know, in, in that university. So if you have some universities that you want to identify, right? Many of these universities have uh, on the websites, you know, the the leaders of the different student groups. So maybe you could contact, uh, say, a Korean Student Association at a university and say you're considering that university, um, uh, and, and see if they have any experiences like that. But so I, I will say that I. I Yes, there is some discrimination, unfortunately, but you go to any country. Uh, I get discriminated against here, but I still come back to Korea. So uh, I think that, uh, you know, it's something that's a sad thing. Uh, and, you know, maybe in our lifetimes it won't be, go away, discrimination. But uh, I think it's not high, high level on average in most places. But maybe, like I said, you can uh, contact the university that you're interested in going to and see if you can... Uh, uh, talk to students there via email. That may be a way. Uh, 미국 대학 캠퍼스 내에서의 어떤 외국인에 대한 차별 등이 있는지 이제 질문이 질문하셨는데요. 이제 그 답변에 대해서 어, 없었으면 좋겠지만 이제 어, 어느 어느 나라를 가든 반드시 미국이 아니라 어느 나라를 가든 그런 어떤 차별은 존재를 하기 때문에 이제 없다고는 말씀을 못 하지만 어쨌든 미국 내에서의 어, 어떤 다양한 인종에 대한 이해와 그런 존중은 그래도 어 굉장히 높다고 생각을 합니다. 그리고 또 하나 또 조언은 어 본인이 고려하고 있는 그 학교에 직접 어 연락을 해 본다던가 입학 전화 혹은 학생 그룹들과 이제 직접 연락을 해 보면서 그 학교 안에 정말 실질적인 분위기가 어떤지 알아보는 것도 좋은 방안일 것 같습니다. So again, uh, you know, contact you know, uh, organizers for these societies and, and they can give you more. Okay. No, it's still, I mean, maybe other people might be. So I think it's a very good question. But like I said, sadly, I, I think that, uh, yes, there's discrimination in any country in the world. Um, but, you know, it's it's being less, to, you know, tolerate, being tolerated is a bad word. I mean, it's, it's, it's decreasing, I think. It's, it's, that's the good thing. People are more accepting of people of, of diverse backgrounds, whether whether they're international students or just Diversity within the own country, right? Because there's, uh, you know, because there are some unfortunate situations of uh, discrimination within the country, within Migos, right? So, but uh, I think that's, you know, decreasing, fortunately. I 
that's it. Well, again, thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Yu. Thank you, Mr. Flores. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Jay Chul. And, and for those of you at YouTube later, uh, I hope uh, this has been helpful. And thank you again. 네, 네,